Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Yo, yo, what's up? Yuri back with you today. It's a beautiful day and I've got another great question which is actually pretty interesting. This one comes from Haley and she wants to know, hey Yuri, I have a question. It seems there are conflicting opinions regarding the enzymes in raw food and whether they help with digestion. Some say they help the digestive enzymes and others say that the exception of, with the exception of bromelain and papain found in papaya and pineapple enzymes, uh, sorry, uh, enzymes are denatured by the hydrochloric acid in our stomachs, so they do not help digestion. Uh, I'm not saying that raw food doesn't have other nutritional benefits. All right, so here's the thing. So I don't personally know if that's true or not. Um, my initial kind of question here is that if there are enzymes in raw foods other than uh, bromelain and papain, so bromelain is found in uh, pa uh, pineapple, papain is found mainly in papaya. If other enzymes are found in other raw foods, which they are, every food has its own kind of natural food enzymes, what would be the difference between papain and bromelain not being denatured by hydrochloric acid, right? They're, they're still enzymes, okay? They're, they're still the same thing pretty much. They're convoluted protein molecules that help uh, digest our foods. So if bromelain and papain aren't denatured by hydrochloric acid, I would be very hard pressed to assume that other ones would be. So all I can say from my own experience is that when you eat more raw foods, you greatly enhance your body's ability to absorb nutrients and you feel a lot more energetic. You reduce the burden on your digestive system. It's very simple, okay? I don't care what the science shows necessarily about this stuff because yes, I'm a very, I'm very sciencey, geeky, I like to see the evidence and stuff, but I also realize that the difference between science and magic is that we don't know how to explain or quanti uh, quantitatively explain magic. We don't know, we can't explain why something works the way it does, so we call it magic. As soon as we can explain it, it becomes uh, classified into the realm of science, right? So we don't necessarily care about how electricity works, we just know that it works. Uh, obviously it's nice to know how things work inside your body and, and I, I don't want to use this as a scapegoat to saying, you know, don't worry about this kind of stuff. That's uh, a great question. What I can say though is that when you start eating more raw foods, uh, just a very, very simple example is if you ate a, a heavy uh, cooked meal like Thanksgiving dinner, you're not going to feel very energetic afterwards, right? I, I mean, we've all experienced that. I mean, if there's anyone who feels energized after Thanksgiving, I'd love to meet them. The problem is with those kind of meals is that they're so heavy in terms of the heavy proteins, the starchy carbs, the volume of food, and they're dead foods. They do not contain the enzymes inherently found in food because they've been cooked. So therefore, your body has to work so much harder to produce its own digestive enzymes and to use those to help digest the foods. Now the other problem is that most people have what's called a hypochlorhydria, which is a low, uh, an underactive stomach. We don't, our stomach doesn't produce enough hydrochloric acid, which is very important for beginning the digestion of protein. So the beautiful thing with raw foods is that because raw foods are not as heavy as a Thanksgiving dinner, for instance, right? They're not cooked, which means they inherently contain higher amounts of their own food enzymes. They're able to assist in the digestive process, which makes things easier for your stomach and digestive system to work through those foods. So generally you feel a little bit more energetic or a lot more energetic after eating raw foods on a consistent basis. Now, I will mention one thing. Not all raw foods are easy to digest. If you have cauliflower, broccoli, those kind of really starchy um, or fibrous cruciferous vegetables, you're not gonna find those very easy to digest. Now that's because there's a huge amount of fiber and they're very strong and tough to break down. So you have to, be, you have to kind of use uh, your best judgment here. And yes, I believe eating more raw foods is the way to better health, more energy, easy weight loss, better mental clarity. Believe me, I've, I've, I've seen this myself and thousands of other people but it doesn't mean you need to be 100% raw. That's not the goal. The goal is to understand that, for instance, if it's easier for your body to digest broccoli in a slightly steamed state because it simply softens it, then that makes more sense, at least for me, 
to steam my broccoli. I'm not going to eat raw broccoli all the time because you know, a huge amount of fiber load like that can be tough on the digestive tract, especially if you're not used to it and especially if you're not drinking a lot of water to move things through. This, this often happens with people who are transitioning from a processed North American diet to eating raw foods or just eating more fruits and vegetables is sometimes they can start experiencing like stomach pains and really kind of uncomfortable feelings and in some cases bloating. And the reason, part of the reason for that is because of this fiber issue. There's so much more fiber that you're not used to that is now coming into your body and it's just sitting there because your digestive motility isn't robust enough to move things to move things through. So you need to be drinking plenty of water uh, if you're experiencing any of that and understanding that it's easier to digest an apple or a pear or leafy greens than it is to digest celery or broccoli or cauliflower in their raw states. Okay? So I hope that answers the question. I don't really know if that really addresses the question per se, but I think um, the enzyme issue is really it's it's you know we're not too sure if it, it's if it's validated either way okay all I can say is that you definitely feel a lot better when you eat raw foods and therefore um, I believe eating more raw foods is a way to better health whether you're still eating meats or not or you're cooking other foods or not that's up to you it's not about fanaticism it's about incorporating more fruits and vegetables into your life and preferably more of them in your in their raw state all right so uh thanks again Haley, for the question i hope this has helped you to some degree and i look forward to seeing you in the next video